Wow, this is them interact. Oh, oh, my diamond sword, sword, sword. He spent a little too much time in the egg. We really just be spawning chick. With this man's wool, I'm going to make a bed. Oh. And it looks like Karen laid another egg. Good morning, everybody. Here is a little black lamb that I have, and there are several vultures over there. Why are there several vultures hanging out? under this tree with the baby no the baby's not dead look there he is just hanging out but why are all these vultures over there also our pigs are here we have kevin and karen by themselves it's a very lovely day today hoggers keeps breaking out for some reason but that's okay because he protects the whole perimeter of the property but this little fella here has infinite grass to eat in here he's a very happy happy boy same thing with these geese although queen has moved back under her usual spot here and she's been eating all of their eggs but that's okay because they lay their eggs right here where it gets wet and dirty anyway. Queen, how's about you stop eating the eggs of these adorable little things? Look at her. Oh. This is the new and improved slab for the barn. Look at this adorable little baby. And on this rock, we will build our new rescue. This is where the new facility will be. It's going to be 1,900 square feet. Just like the old barn. And this is Pogger's new dog house. Can't find my shepherd's stuff, but I know it's around here somewhere. I let him out here so he could eat all of this nasty foliage and the things that are growing in here. Now that I've cleaned up most of the trash, there's minimal hazards for him. He's being weaned right now, as you can see, and he's doing a great job. This little fellow, along with an emu with a mess up neck and were given to us by a farm i believe the emu has rye neck i'll show that to you in a bit here this little fella has plenty of leaves and i have lots of water for him over here when i walked over queen and i scared away the majority of the vultures i don't know why they were here but i do know that at cameron park zoo the vultures just hang out everywhere old uncle the baby don't give no mind to no vultures look how big and mature he is now he's a weathered soul an old soul man's done lived in three homes now each one better than the last in this little enclosure he's got his little tent he's got a pond with water he's got a bucket with water some feed and he's got this tree that gives him shade all day and all night. I do worry a little bit about him eating mushrooms or things like that, but for the most part, there aren't really a lot of those in here. But I love you, I appreciate you, and he's being a little bit of a stinker. For some reason now, at midday, the baby does not care for human interaction. Meanwhile, at night, he'll just hop over to me and start kicking me and hugging me and being all adorable per usual. But right now, the baby likes to be by himself at midday. He does the same thing with the dog. At night, the baby will jump all over the dogs, and during the day, he will relax. I've got a sprinkler set up in here. I'm going to start watering this area to get a lot more grass in here. For some reason, this pond is actually staying more full than all the others. On the downside of that, we're getting some more algae. But we do have a liner coming in, and we are going to be able to put in a filtration system. This is where all of my bees are drinking, you guys. This is the pond that all of my bees go to to drink. Look at this adorable little lamb. I told you guys I rehomed all four of the little other piggies. They all went to great homes as pets. All I did was just separate them in kennels and hand feed them, and then they went straight to home. Now, she's a little standoffish. I'm gonna go ahead and name her now. But you guys name her in the comments. They love that little house. They can go into this little yard and have all kinds of shade in here. Pretty soon I'm gonna try and lay down sod and move them into a smaller area and then just start watering the sod really well. I'm gonna do the same thing with Karen and Kevin who tries to kill me every chance he can get. But look at this little boy trying to follow me. Him and Queen are good friends now and she's already accepted her role as protector. But he just follows me everywhere around the property, you guys. This is my son. But I guess Poggers and Queen do the same thing. Karen is still very adorable and cute and while kevin tries to kill me i'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of this feed and give it to him have you guys ever wondered how owning a sheep is like the of the i think the third one i've ever owned they're very very adorable and affectionate but they're also very very dumb Mere queen come on come on queen come on as you can see he's already more obedient than queen is come on let's go ah! Come on, buddy. The door's right there. See what I mean, guys? They're not the smartest. But now he, too, will have this whole area to roam around in. He'll have that little tent over there with a huge pile of dirt and hay to climb on. He'll have the baby to bother, plus some old stagnant water and some fresh, clean water that I refill regularly. Why is Queen just over there exploring? Look at this perfect little girl. Oh, adorable little face. And this is our woodland chicken. Watch this, though. You guys are going to love this. If I just sit here, Queen will just be like, okay, Time to spend time with Papa. Come on, Queen, hop up. Come on, Queen. Hello, Poppers. Would you like to hop up? Hop up. 
Oh my goodness, both of them. This is a very good boy. And from here, I can keep an eye on my other children, name of the baby and this little lamb. We're getting a real good view of dog. And it looks like Karen laid another egg. It's time for me to collect those and put them in the incubator. I love, love, love that Queen gets to be a sheepdog, you guys. Take a look at that. Queen has just eagerly accepted her responsibility as being a little sheepdog. We really are starting to look like Minecraft more and more, you guys. On another note, we're in the middle of a drought right now, and this thing that I transplanted here is not doing very well. But I'm gonna keep watering it nonetheless. Here's a newer flower. What's this you got? Look at that boy freaking out over there. But right now I'm just watering this fella here. Watering my persimmon, which is now getting attacked by something. What do you think's doing that, you guys? Is it this stupid thing right here? What do I get? Do I need to release a bunch of things? At least some praying mantises, you guys. What is this thing? Should I kill it? These grapes are doing really well, especially that one, but this one still hasn't reached the fence yet. Rest in peace, baby Kevin. They made the animals from mine craft a real thing y'all ever just say frick it and lead a lamb besides still water might even have to lead a dog too <laughs> oh. name a more relaxed man than the baby oh wait also name a more iconic duo than these two oh wait wow this has been interesting oh okay man. He's just a little boy, the baby. Calm down. Literally an infant lamb. Probably the one creature that's a little bit dumber than you. Look at he's eating the things even the baby wasn't gonna eat. The baby's like, what is that? What is this creature? Can I touch it? Oh, I don't like new things. Even if they're adorable. Even if they are small and cute and give you one wool per shear. With this man's wool, I'm going to make a bed. And once I make a bed, I won't have to stay up all night working anymore. Whoa, whoa. But look at this, you guys. This is the spot. We got some nice poison ivy here. A great place to lay down. Oh, maybe I should get rid of that. Not sure what that stuff is, but I should probably get rid of it. What is this stuff, guys? Do I need to worry about my animals eating it? Queen be like, might as well kick all the water out of this trough. That makes sense. Hogger's like, something comes. Oh, he's barking at something in the woods. He has got such a keen eye. Who do I I gotta shoot boy who do i gotta shoot i like to say who do i gotta shoot when pogger starts barking in both these directions because i genuinely will do that to someone who tries to harm me or my animals and boy oh boy are we heavily heavily armed <laughs> and then i end my watering routine by watering both this area and this area hopefully some grass will start to grow back here worst case scenario it won't grow back but karen and kevin will be nice and wet. Doing great. This chick literally just spawned here today. And I mean that. The chick literally just spawned here, you guys. We really just be spawning chicks in Minecraft. Now these guys all have food and water. These guys are getting food and water. I finally have all the ducks, including the rescues, together. Turns out there's a huge hole in this pool that my friend gave me. But they're all doing really, really well, you guys. These other ones that were abandoned at the park, I think, are both Rowan's. This little guy and this little guy. Obviously, this is little Travis Scott. Of course, our baby call ducks are in here. And normally, I let these guys free range but right now i am letting things recoup a little bit pretty soon every one of these ducks is going to go back there to that back area where the chickens are with the pond also one last thing i'll show you guys before i turn the water off this is what you have to do to walk into this whole back area you have to get really really close to kevin and i think this is just close enough to where he can scare the heck out of you but not bite you since filming this i have been bit twice by him and he will jump and of course, for the little bits that I spilled on the ground, our little teenage chicken cleanup crew takes care of that. And they do a great little job of cleaning up all that scrap. Also, the grass is doing really well. This way I don't get muddy every time it rains, although it hasn't rained in quite some time. But check this out, you guys. Look what I'm doing with the bomb. I have this AC unit hooked up here, and this thing keeps everything really cold whenever we want it to be. I got baby Kevin in here with his friend Chimkin. I got this little area here for our little piglet. And this little man who was given to me because he has what I believe is called rye neck or some other neck deformation. He spent a little too much time in the egg. So when he was hatching out, now he has a low curved neck. Is he still very cute? Yes. Are we still going to do everything we can to take care of him? Yes. Is he guaranteed to survive? Absolutely not. So we will not be giving this little fella a name until he's about a month old. Well then though, he does walk around. He can eat and drink, which is kind of miraculous given the state of his neck. And he does do okay in here. So send a little prayer up for our little baby whose name will be Gimpy until further notice. I do not need the heat lamp in there because it is very, very hot. We have our adorable little prairie dog boys out here. But I do bring them in with this little boy regularly to sleep. Or whenever I'm watching TV, cooking, doing whatever, I just bring them inside. But we are officially farming out here, fellas. We are officially farming. That's it though, guys. My mom came over for Mother's Day and remodeled. Sorry, I left a dish out, mom. Sorry, sorry. 
But as you can see, this place is paradise now. And with the AC working, the whole house is nice and cool, and it actually looks and feels like a home. Whoa, what's in here? Some adorable little prairie dogs in my underwear drawer. This one of which used to be a literal wild prairie dog and is now tamed. That's right, you guys. I have officially tamed Plappa. She still bites me, but it's not that bad. And she likes to be scratched, just like her big chubby brother, name of a big owl. These two are closer than two peas in a pod now. Now, take a look at them. Kind of the same thing, really. They're both just the same. Look, oh, it's Tang! My diamond sword, sword, sword. You can't afford, Ford, Ford. Oh, oh, just no. go through. Go through, bro. Trust me. Most rational people will see this and be like, nope, not worth it. Ah!